How's it going, everybody? This is Rob Novcast back with a another video for you guys. And with this one, oh boy. I kind of don't want to talk about this one because let's. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you guys. When this originally came out, I really wanted it to be good. And I, I think ultimately I let my ex expectations get the best of me. And oh my gosh. So. Amazing Spider-Man 2, directed by Mark Webb, uh, written by Alex Kurtzman, Roberto Orsi, if I pronounce that name correctly, and many others, um, starring Andrew Garfield, Emma Stone, Jamie Foxx, and many more. By the way, this was also released in 2014. Oh gosh, where do I even begin? I guess... Um, it continues with um, the story that we've had so far, where um, Peter Parker continues to be Spider-Man. Um, the relationship between uh, Peter and Gwen Stacy is a little bit strained, or becomes a little bit strained. Actually, it kind of goes back and forth throughout the story, um, especially with um, Peter Parker being conflicted with a promise that he made to... Uh, Gwen Stacy's father near the end of the film. If you guys have not watched it, go check it out. And in between, we are introduced to Electro, who I have conflicting opinions about, especially when it comes to his motives. Um, and then we have a fight ensuing that. We have the introduction of Harry Osborn, whose motivation is somewhat interesting but near the the final act i kind of felt a shoehorn as well as the controversial rhino who's only there for like the fur the last or sorry the last oh no sorry let me correct myself there for the first couple of minutes of the of the movie and there for the last couple of minutes of the film <laughs> oh my gosh so yeah so Andrew Garfield reprises the role as Peter Parker which I think he does really well Gwen Stacy as well the dynamic between the two of them is so freaking good it, it, especially near with what happens in the very end because let's be I'm gonna be perfectly honest with what happens at the very end for those who have not watched it because I don't want to spoil it for those who haven't. Which, by the way, it's 2000. It's 2021. You should have seen this movie by now. It's... It's... I'm going to just say the relationship feels real. with When it comes to the dynamic. Especially with the fact that, you know, with... with you know, people, like... Real people, you know... Relationships... They fluctuate. And especially when it comes to problems. When it comes down to yourself or you know the other person or if anything it's just i i don't know how to go i guess if anything love it in some sense is complicated and sometimes there's gonna be issues and i like that the fact that you know you see the issues and they try to work it out which is great um jamie fox as electro i'm gonna get in for those who probably if People actually watch my videos for my reviews and I'm just gonna say it for those who are fans of Jamie Foxx I'm sorry I did not like Jamie Foxx in this in fact his character Max Dillon slash Electro I did not like especially mostly because of the motivations of the character himself he has in fact if anything I would classify him as the creepy stalker that wants revenge that's basically Jamie Foxx's character. I'm sorry. Um, you have a character that has one interaction with, with Spider-Man. It clearly has some kind of stalker-esque um, motives. Or if anything, a kind of psychosis, I guess you could say. Um, gains powers. And when he has one bad interaction with Spider-Man, then immediately is like, Oh, I want to kill Spider-Man, blah, 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 blah. That is his general motivation for his character, which, again, I am not a fan of. 
Then next we have Dane Dehan as uh, Osborne or Green Goblin. Now I'm gonna say to some extent, um, but the the friendship between and uh, pretty much Peter Parker and Harry Osborne is brief, and I think it's like part. Well, no, if, if I remember correctly, like just because I had to rewatch this. It's we barely see Harry, only for the parts where we you know where we find out oh he's dying. And then going forward into so on. Um, looking at some of our other characters, uh, Sally Field playing Aunt May, a lot of fun. Uh, apparently, Richard, we get it with the parents, uh, Richard, or sorry, not Richard, because I'm thinking, looking at IMDb with Richard Parker, uh, Campbell Scott. And uh, Embeth Davids um, was a cool addition, especially seeing like what happened to Peter's parents. 